Right off the top at six, we're breaking down some major changes to Ottawa County's government. A new slate of conservative commissioners today appointed a new county administrator and a new health officer, things that were not included on the agenda. News 8's Joe Lafergi is in West Olive with the changes that were made and reaction to it tonight. Joe? See, Brian, one of the new commissioners telling me voters sent a message in November, and this is the end result. Frustration over COVID mandates and the county's handling of those mandates was among the key issues. It got eight members endorsed by the Conservative Political Action Committee, Ottawa Impact, elected in November. With that, John Shea was appointed county administrator in March is out. One time third congressional district Republican candidate John Gibbs is in as county administrator. The group also firing the county health administrator naming Nathaniel Kelly as the new health administrator. The board voting to close down the county's Office of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion created in 2018 and changing the county motto to Where Freedom Rings, replacing Where You Belong. We chose John Shea unanimously because of his qualifications, because of what he had done and what he has done so far. And um, I just... I, I, I'm appalled that um, you all would would um, do what you're doing today. I'm 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 appalled. Thank you. I'm going to state for the record. Um, it was advised that this could possibly happen today, and I came to you and I specifically asked if this was going to happen today, and I was pretty much told no. So I've been completely blindsided by this this morning. Um, I feel like, well, I think that John Gibbs is a fantastic candidate and, and is very overqualified. I felt that it was prudent to at least give County Administrator Shea the benefit of the doubt to prove if he was going to be able to work with the board or not. That's what I recommended. So I will be voting no on this because of that, not because I don't think that John Gibbs is a fantastic candidate. I believe the uh, uh, this was a culmination of a lot of um, people involved, uh, a lot of voters. Um, there were uh, a groundswell of, of votes that um, I think led us to this point um, and the, uh, the results of um, our elections this year. So it's, uh, I know, something that's never really happened at this level before in, in Ottawa County. Now, along with the, what many consider the obvious benefits of equity and inclusion policies at the government level, many large companies like to do business in communities with strong programs in those areas. So I asked Gibbs how closing the office handles those, that handles those issues might impact business. Well, they're going to want to invest here because they can get high-quality employees, and their employers are going to have a high quality of life living in our great Ottawa County here. So that's why companies come here. We're going to actually continue to improve that. We're going to continue to improve the um, quality of life. We're going to be working with the Sheriff's Department. We're going to be working with everybody to make sure housing is affordable and, and all the other items on the agenda. And we will have much more on the Ottawa County shakeup tonight at 10 and 11. Live in Olive Township, Joe Lafergie, News 8.